Good morning! Ashok Gege, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Google Singan Simba, Juju Letwa. To my returning subscribers, to the Gege, I hope that you guys are well. And to those that are passing by, hopefully you like what you see today and you subscribe. Guys, um, it is. It is 8 minutes to 10. I am currently in Franschhoek. We are going on a wine tram. I will show you guys who I'm with in just a second. Um, we've been told that we're the only ones on this tour for the day. So I get to vlog nicely. No pressure on myself. But yeah, so we're in Franschhoek. We're going to go to different wine farms, learn about wine, taste the wine, eat, get drunk, everything. So yeah, please stay tuned. Guys, we have the whole bus to ourselves. Here is my guest, but I'll introduce you. The lighting is nice. <laughs> then to make it sure the Dutch started to occupy the Cape, uh, the gentleman, his name is Simon van der Steen. lot of Simons wherever you go. Cape Town, Simons Town, uh, Simons Big, Simons Set, and then Stellen Bosch was named after his second name, van der Stellen Bosch, Stellen Bosch. This is our first stop. This is where we will be having breakfast with our first pairing. Five something mm -hmm. they so the French people they were opening the um, sparkling bottle with saber mm -hmm. so now it became so custom and I'm so proud to tell you I'm standing right now Mr. Achim van Anim is the one who brought the concept to South Africa. Please, as many fast there. Sis G house. Hello. Uh, guys, I'll be with you shortly. Just a second. No problem. Does does. Um, <gasps> I think you. I was explaining to you. Yes, please explain. Um, you mentioned something about. Guys, these like are the, four bottles of Dom Perignon. The Back in the day when a bottle was 22 Rand and they made a chandelier. So, what was It won't pop because it's waxed. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> this makes me nervous. No. Do it the other way around, it's gonna pop up and then it's gonna spray you in your face. Oh. I don't want you to get hit. Yeah, to get hit. Yeah. So, great. So, what you're gonna do, Your Majesty? Yes. Could you please stand there? Awesome. With your camera? Your, your, your Majesty. Majesty. Like, like, Period. Can you please do it? I'll take the thing. You want me to do it? Yeah. So 
So which is 60% Chardonnay, 40% Pinot Noir. Guys, this is my travel buddy for the day. Hi. Say hi to me, Sunday. Um, Yeah, we're about to have our first meal of the day. That is, a, is that what we're drinking? Yes. I can't believe you got an eye to uh, I was actually saying to him that like I've been like been to France Church on sunny days. Mm -hmm. So I feel like being here on an overcast day is an experience of its own. I actually prefer the overcast weather. Oh cheers to a lovely day. That's a, a heavy full-bodied red, but it's not a dry red. Um, characteristics of both of the wines come through on lease, only allowed to have a maximum of 18% of alcohol on it. Um, I thought to check in with you guys and just, you know, give you guys some words. We have four glasses of alcohol in front of us, and this is only breakfast, so I'm a bit screwed. Um, I also want to say, I did a wine tasting video on my channel with Arnold, and on it I had said that I don't like Chardonnay. I'd like to retract my statement. I do like Chardonnay, but I like a lighter version. We're currently drinking the unwooded Chardonnay from the Swine Estate, and that's very nice. Um, I also like the Chardonnay by Warwick. Very light. So you know what, I'm a, I'm a Chardonnay drinker now. Uh, I just have to find one that I like. But more than anything, guys, I'm blown away with the experience. If you are considering, you're considering, I'm already, it's finished for me. <laughs> if you are considering um, coming onto a tram in Franschhoek, I definitely would say do it. I do know that the tram or the experience that we've booked is not the normal jump on, jump off, and I think hence us being able to come down here. Um, but yeah, I do think it's a, it's a really cool way to learn about wine, about wine farms, and just the wine culture. So, I'm gonna keep eating and drinking. Uh, we'll check in with you guys later. Uh, this, this is the first time when um, we started the company in 2012, they brought it in. Um, even now, this we call the baby train, but I don't normally call it baby train, I call the mother of train. Guys, I have been here before and I'm so excited to be back. These are my shoes. I got them from Aldo. I'm a little bit obsessed. Guys, we are now at Chef's Warehouse at Mason. Um, yeah, and we're gonna have a six course meal. I'm lucky that I've been here before. So I'm excited. I think that this is our starter. Have a churro over there, some rotis, and a tart accompanied with their wine. Okay, guys, we are having our second wine at Mason, which is probably a very bad idea. And we have two more to go, and then the wine with the dessert. I don't know how I'm gonna survive today, but we're here, child. So we have the starter which is really nice and that's going well so we're waiting for our second meal um yeah and then we have two more meals here and then we go wherever we're going for dessert so i thought i'd give you guys a little bit of an update the wine is not touching me like a tarantula yet it's starting to go 100 percent making the medicine the medicine of the day is impala we've got some barbecued red cabbage and some pea mayo 
Um, guys, we're having our third wine. We're having the Mason Chardonnay 2018, which will be accompanied with the Qualifico Risotto, which is about to arrive. And this is our meal arriving. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And the risotto. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Both our meals. <laughs> guys, we are now on, I don't know what number meal this is, I think it's but we're number having four. the freshwater trout. This is it. Um, it is paired with a Chenin, my favorite white wine. Let's go. So we are at our final meal. We are having the Shiraz. Oh, that's an <laughs> It's a visual representation of how of my state right now. We are having oxtail with some Shiraz. Guys, the sun is out. It paid us a visit. Clear skies. I know this right here. <laughs> Just God. I'm wearing contact lenses. I can't so believe this. you don't want photos and you look so nice. Thank okay. you. Um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling warm. Okay, yeah. good. Warm is what you need to be, guys. Michali came without a jacket, and I don't know how he survived. Uh, I think the wine kept me warm. Yeah, in the day. even a bird at all times. <laughs> um, guys, this is our last final stop. We had dessert here, which was really nice. It was obviously accompanied with wine. Um, at all of the wine estates that we went to, there was a pairing between the wine and the food. So that was cool. I learned a lot today. I'm more stable than what I thought I would be, but I'm like, I'm not okay. You know what I mean? But I'm stable. Um, so this is the end of it. My battery is dying, so I thought I'd say a formal goodbye. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe. Make sure to come to Franschuk. Make sure to try the tram if you can. Um, it is an experience and a half. Thanks, guys.